on that topic, um, do you have advice? Like what advice would you give to a young person about life? A young person about life or a young person about life in robotics? Uh, it could be in robotics. It could be in life in general. It could be career. It could be uh, relationship advice. It could be running advice. Just like they're, um, that's one of the things I see, like we talk to like 20 year olds. They're, they're like, how do I, how do I do this thing? <laughs> what, do, what do I do? Um, if they come up to you, what would you tell them? I think it's an interesting time to be a kid these days. Everything points to this being sort of a winner take all economy and the like. I think the people that will really excel, in my opinion, are going to be the ones that can think deeply about problems. Um, you have to be able to ask questions agilely and use the internet for everything it's good for and stuff like this. And I think a lot of people will develop those skills. I think the the leaders, thought leaders, you know, robotics leaders, whatever, are going to be the ones that can do more and they can think very deeply and critically. Um, and that's a harder thing to learn. I think one one path to learning that is through mathematics, through engineering. Um, I would encourage people to start math early. I mean, I didn't really start. I mean, I, I was always in the the better math classes that I could take, but I wasn't pursuing super advanced mathematics or anything like that until I got to MIT. I think MIT lit me up and uh, really started the life that I'm living now. But um, yeah, I, I really want kids to to dig deep, really understand things, building things too. I mean, pull things apart, put them back together. Like that's just such a good way to really understand things and expect it to be a long journey, right? It's, uh, you don't have to know everything. You're never going to know everything. So think deeply and stick with it. <laughs> Enjoy the ride, but just Enjoy. make sure you're not, um, yeah, just, just make sure you're, you're, you're stopping to think about why things work. And it's true. It's, uh, it's easy to lose yourself in the, in the, in the distractions of the world. We're overwhelmed with content right now, but you have to stop and pick some of it and, and really understand. Yeah, I've, on, on the book point, I've read um, Animal Farm by George Orwell a ridiculous number of times. So for me, like that book, I don't know if it's a good book in general, but for me, it connects deeply somehow. Uh, it somehow connects so I was born in the Soviet Union, so it connects to me to the entirety of the history of the Soviet Union and to World War II and to the uh, love and hatred and suffering that went on there and the uh, the corrupting nature of power and greed and just somehow I just, that, that, that book has taught me more about life than like anything else, even though it's just like a, a silly, like childlike book about Animal. pigs and animals, <laughs> like i don't know why it just connects and yeah. inspires and uh, the same there's a few um yeah there's a few technical books too and algorithms that just yeah you return to often right i'm 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 with you uh yeah there's uh i don't and i've been losing that because of the internet i've been like uh going on i've been going on archive and blog posts and github and and the new thing and i've um you lose your ability to really master an idea. Right. Wow. Exactly right. 